Hey, this is Presh Talwalker. The puzzle begins with the following information. You are given a circle and a diameter AB of the circle. You are also given a point C that's on the circle. The challenge is to construct CD that's perpendicular to AB. But there's a challenging part of this puzzle. You are only allowed to use a straight edge as the tool you are not allowed to use a compass. This problem was asked by Russian Prime Minister Mish Houston to students who are approximately 17 to 18 years old. It was posted on ICM 2022, and I saw it via Alex Bellos's column on The Guardian. This is an amazing geometric puzzle, and I'll admit I wasn't able to solve it but the answer is so remarkable that I wanted to share it with all of you. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. So here's the remarkable construction. First, we will connect BC and CA. Then angle BCA is an inscribed angle in a semicircle, which means angle BCA is a 90 degree right angle. Now, let's take some other point F along this same semicircle. We will connect AF and FB. By the same logic, Angle AFB is an inscribed angle in a semicircle, so it is a 90 degree right angle. From here, extend AF and BC to form a point G. Now we have a triangle AGB. In this triangle, AC is an altitude upon BG, and BF is an altitude upon AG. The point at which they intersect is H, and that's the orthocenter of the triangle ABG. An interesting property of the orthocenter is it's actually the unique point where all three altitudes of the triangle meet. Therefore, GH will be along the altitude of AB. So we know that if we extend GH to the side AB, it will meet the side at a right angle. Now from here, let's label this point P where GH extends to intersect with the circle. We'll now clean up this construction a little bit. Let's get rid of this triangle. And from there, let's get rid of some other things and we'll label the point Q along this circle. So Q and P are exactly reflected points about the diameter AB. Let's now get rid of these right triangles. So from here, we've already reflected the point Q across the diameter to the point P. We similarly want to reflect the point C across the diameter AB. So how do we do that? We will connect QC and extend the diameter AB until they meet at a point R. Now we'll connect R and P. By symmetry, the point at which RP intersects a circle we'll label this S, will exactly be the point C reflected about the diameter AB. We then will connect CS. Because C and S are reflected points about the diameter AB, they will meet the diameter at the point D, and that will be at a right angle. And thus, we have constructed CD that's perpendicular to AB, and all we've used is a straight edge and some interesting geometry concepts. What an amazing construction. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.